example of percentage method federal and percentage method state. Wiley, who is single, has one exemption and gross weekly gross pay of 90555. Okay, for the federal percentage method, we are going to go ahead and use the blue papers in your folder, or if you're using Google Classroom, you would use the 2021 percentage method tables. I did post them in Google Classroom. So let's look at this. Wiley is single and he also has weekly gross pay. So make sure you use the weekly table. Notice at the top we have weekly, here we have bi-weekly. So make sure you use the weekly. We're using the left-hand column, so go down to single. In single, we're gonna figure out where 90555 fits. 90555 fits between 865 and 2041. So we're gonna use that line. Oh, nope, that's married, I'm sorry. 905 is going to fit between 433 and 1021. So we're going to use 1920 plus 12% of anything over 433. So we have to take our gross pay, 905.55 minus 433. And then we just have to do our math once we have our formula written. So 905.55 minus 433 is going to give me 472.55. So I have 1920 plus 12% of 472.55. Then take 472.55 times 12%. So I have 1920 plus 56.71, which finally gives me $75.91. So that's how we use the percentage method. Okay, the biggest thing is that you have to know how to get this line right here. This line comes from the table. The only difference is this is my gross earnings and gross earnings comes from here. Don't forget. Okay, and everything else comes from the table. Now state, we have to use our state tables. So let's switch over to our state tables. Remember the state, their steps are different. You have to use your steps in your notes. Step one, you have to subtract out your exemptions, which is the people in your family. So I'm going to go to the weekly, which is way at the top. And Wiley has one exemption. So we're going to take 1250 times one, which in this case, we don't really need to do any much math. So it's just 1250. Step two, don't forget, you have to subtract out step one from your gross earnings. So I'm going to use that 905.55 that gr those gross earnings, but I'm going to subtract 1250. Okay, and that 1250, I'll go ahead and color code that a different color. That co that one is coming from step one right here. Okay, and the answer to that, I'll go back to red so that you can see where those come from, is 89305. Okay, so then step three is when we actually go to the table. So we're going to go to our table, our weekly table, figure out where, where 89305 fits. And that's going to be between 769.23 and 1538.46. If we see that line right here, okay, that's the line I'm going to be using for step three. So $17.34 plus... 3.506%. Now, here's where you have to make sure you use the information from step two and not your gross earnings. I'll go ahead and color code that again. So 89305 goes here. And then switch back to red. And then we go back to the table for that last one. So 769.23. Now, by order of operations, we're going to do our parentheses first. So we have 1734 plus 3.506%. 89305 minus 76923 is 12382. 12382 times 0 0.03506 if you don't use a percent sign. So be careful there. 1734 plus 434 is 2168. So there's an example of your percentage method, state and federal.